Hi again. again. I'm Heaven. And I'm Neil. If you're new to the channel, then you might not know that most of the grows that we've done on our channel since the beginning, or actually all of them since the beginning, have been autos. And we've definitely seen your guys' comments. Autos suck. No, they don't. When are you gonna go photos? When's the star in photos? And the reason we didn't do that in the beginning, guys, is because we lived in different places. We only had room for one tent at each location. That's what made autos really great for us starting out because we could do all of them in one tent no matter what stage you were at. So that's why we kind of stuck with autos in the beginning. I still love my autos. <laughs> and now that we've moved and we set up the new studio and we have this whole new area with multiple tents, we wanted to dive back into the photos. I will always love autos. They grow so quick. They're just really explosive and they, because they stay really small and you don't have to change a light schedule. And I love autos. But we still wanted to try some photos, and we definitely did start and try a few off the beginning. Uh, we had Mr. Groat's Chill Out OG. We had a few other ones that we tried, um, and unfortunately, all those we tried were reg seeds, and they all ended up being male. The copycat genetic strain that was sent to us from Home Grow TV was our first photo that we've actually been able to grow out all the way from start to finish and had it turn out really great. And make sure you hit that subscribe so you don't miss the seed to harvest on that copycat coming out soon. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Our very first photo, it's gonna be a dope video collab with Home Grow TV, us, and... Joe from the Basement Grow Show. I almost said Basement Auto Flowers. <laughs> there were some things that we had to think about that we didn't have to think about before. Yeah, definitely getting back into the photos after so long of just growing autos on the channel, we ran into a few issues and things that we didn't really think about because we weren't used to dealing with those running autos. Yeah, so we decided to come up with a list of things that we had to think about going into photos from growing autos this whole time on the channel. Yeah, just a few things to think about guys that, you know, if you're used to growing autos and you wanna get back into photos or it's your first time growing photos, it might give you some ideas of things to keep in mind over the growth. So here's some tips to keep in mind when you start your photo growth. Photos are much more resilient to mistakes that you might make in the beginning and throughout the grow. Yeah, that's a great point. With autos that we were so used to growing, if you make major mistakes, it's kind of done for that plant. It might You might do some serious damage, it might be seriously stunted at that point, where photos, we can just keep going yeah. and we can fix those you mistakes. You can recover. And still have those plants turn out. And that's definitely a perk of photos that I think is really great. Another thing that I think about when I think about growing photos is um, touching again on the resilience factor that you can transplant them um, more than once. Yeah, and that's another, that's a pretty common practice with photos is up potting, starting from in a small pot, starting a solo cup, move to maybe a two gallon, moving up to a five, to a seven, or however you want. And that's a pretty common way to grow photos that a lot of people do um, because you're just introducing fresh nutrients, fresh soil, and you just up pot. That's something you really yes. don't want to do with autos, and that's what we're really kind of used to is one, putting them in their final pot and yeah. growing them out. You can definitely do that with a photo, but we did do some uh, up potting and it worked really well and it makes it really easy. And that's something that we want to keep in mind growing photos, it's, that's the option that we have and that we can do. You know how much I love getting my hands dirty. I love dirt! Another great thing about running photos and getting back into them is that we can control the veg stage. We can make this plant veg as long as we want based on the light schedule. Um, and that's a really great perk because you can really kind of control the plant. If you make some mistakes in veg, you can just veg it longer till you get it back into a healthy state and ready to flip to flower. So that's a great perk of photo periods and being able to control the veg based on the light cycle um, and really kind of control the plant in that. Also, touching in the veg period uh, of a photo, you can clone them. Another great, you great have, perk. You can't really do with autos. Um, now, I've tried doing things with autos before, but it's not like a photo in the way of cloning. That would be in the veg stage of a photo, and I am very excited to start trying that. That's not something we've tried yet. Yeah. But the fact that it is an option um, with the photos, I absolutely love. Especially when you find that strain you really love, like the copycat, lot lizard. Yeah, it's a good lizard. one, and you can take a cut from that in veg, um, and then clone that off and continue to keep that strain going. So that's a really cool perk. Something we didn't really think about, we haven't really tried or dove into yet, but it's definitely on our minds, and it's something that we can do with the photo grows. Oh, we're getting into it. 
be getting into it. You guys know how I love to train my plants. So the fact that photos, uh, I can train them in so many more ways. I can train them more excessive and I can also top them, which you guys know that I love. So this is yeah. these are things about uh, photos, about training that I'm excited to try with photos that I haven't really been able to dive into with autos. Yeah, definitely. I think you can get much more aggressive with the training on photos uh, just because you can keep vegging them until they're ready to be flipped. Um, that really gives you the option to do some aggressive training, multi-topping, lots of topping, lots of super cropping. And mainlining and yeah definitely kind of training methods that maybe autos don't handle really as well that we found you know autos generally don't like to be topped a lot um we usually just found like we we tried a lot in the beginning some of those videos you guys have seen six eight <laughs> times yeah definitely but it does seem like they don't handle it quite as well as photo periods do so it gives you more options in your in your veg stage when you're doing your training they can handle a lot more um and you can recover it till it's ready to grow into flower. The one thing I'm really excited to try is scrogging. We haven't tried it yet, but because photos are so resilient, you can train them in a way that you can weave them. And I am very excited to try that method, which I have yet to try. Yeah, we've never tried it with autos that we've grown on the channel since we started, but we have seen some people try. Have you ever had good results trying to scrog an auto? I'd love to hear your comments below. Yes, please. One more thing that we have to think about with photos that we didn't with autos is the light schedule. Light schedule. You can't just run everything on 18.6 all in the same tent. But now that we have more space and we got the new grow room set up after the move, now that we have more tents, we can dedicate tents to photos. So even if we start in with the autos, we can move those plants into their own tents and flip them, which, is, which has been great. That's yes. why we wanted the multiple tents. So we had that kind of flexibility in the grows. As before, we didn't have so much flexibility and we also really liked to veg and bloom in the same tent, um, which is something you can't do with photos with the light schedule. However, you can, when you flip them, you go to 12-12 for their flowering stage, which is something that I've never experienced before uh, on the channel. So with photos, in order to put them into bloom phase, you have to flip them from their 18.6 to the 12.12 light schedule in order for the plant to change from veg stage to bloom stage. Yeah, and that starts the flowering and that's what makes the plant start to stretch. And that's one thing that we didn't really think about, especially with our first photo that we ran through here with the copycat is it got so big in veg when we flipped it, it can stretch up to 200% sometimes um, after you actually flip into flower. So that plant stretched and got huge and it took over the tent. And that's something we weren't really ready for. Wasn't and that's something you that. definitely want to think about when you're running a photo. Because of that stretch, we suggest that when your plant is about a fourth to the third of your grow space, and that's when we suggest you flip it from your 18.6 to your 12.12 light schedule. And that's something that can cut down on the length of the grow and how long it's gonna take to grow your photo. I think we were just so used to autos just going into flowering phase on their own and growing to like kind of just a manageable size on their own and be flowering on their own. When you flip with a photo, it's gonna be about two weeks before you really even see signs <laughs> of flowering like pistol hairs popping and stuff like that but during that time it's going to be stretching vigorously yes, um, and explosive. you just yeah you want to make sure that you're flipping or you have your training down to where it's not going to outgrow your environment you're growing it in like your tent you want to make sure you have that vertical clearance that it can grow don't it, be us guys yeah don't be us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be us and uh, make sure that you, you prepare for that flip and just know that it is gonna stretch. Just be ready for that and make sure that you have that space in your tent before you try and flip it. Otherwise, you might run out of room and run into some issues. As you'll see in our Seed to Harvest a Copycat, we ran into some issues because we didn't flip it fast enough. And I think the floor flex that we were growing it with just made it beast out too much. But it still turned out, we made it work. And touching on lights, one, another thing that we didn't have to think about really with autos was light leaks. Light leaks. That's something we've never paid attention to with our auto grows because it never was really an issue. We never had herming as a result of any light leaks or anything like that. Um, but photos much more sensitive. Like you want to make sure you're not opening your tent in the dark phase. 
You're not having light leaks in there, which can cause herming and issues with the grows. Uh, so you really want to make sure your environment's sealed and you're controlling any kind of light leaks that could potentially yes. cause issues with your photo. So be sure to zip up your tents and close all of your windows. Yep, make sure there's no pinholes or light leaks in your tent. That's going to help make sure that your photo and flower is going to finish out well without any kind of Hermes or issues. So these are just some tips that we wanted to remind you guys and also ourselves of when growing photos. Since we're just getting back into them guys and we're going to be growing them on the channel here a lot more now. We have the tents for them. We're planning tons of more photo grows coming up. We actually have one of the Neon to Heaven strain from Platinum Seeds. If you guys want to get in on that grow along of a photo, join our Patreon. We'll get you guys hooked up. It's going to be a fun seed to harvest with the whole community involved. So definitely stay tuned for that and more photos because now we're not just growing autos anymore. We got a lot more plants to grow. We got photos coming. We do have, like we said, the upcoming seed to harvest of the copycat genetics with Home Grow TV and Basement Grow Show. Coming up guys, that'll be our very first photo premiere on our channel, so stay tuned, it's gonna be dope. You can also join our Patreon for weekly live streams, so a lot of you guys have already seen us and how that grow went and the results of that, but you'll have to catch it all in the Seed to Harvest. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and that bell for notifications. Join us on our Instagram at hi again for all the behind the scenes. We also do put out facts on Wednesdays, so make sure to follow along and hit that like button. We back Wednesday. And check us out on AC Infinity After Dark over on AC Infinity's YouTube channel the second Wednesday of every month. 8 p.m. Tons of great giveaways. We're live with Homegrow TV and Joe from Basement Grow Show. Don't miss them, guys. They're a ton of fun, and you're always going to get to win some dope prizes. Uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye again. Bye.